welcome to another video tutorial in this video i will show you how we can confirm the single nucleotide polymorphism between your wild type and mutant type so as here you see in this article i have actually first used dna man software and then i draw these chromatogram figure with the help of snap gene so you can also similarly confirm your SNPs through DNA man and sometimes as you know it is tricky to get the confirmation I mean where your SNP is located so as here you see and so as here you see actually I have cloned my forward and reverse primer from that locus and as here you see one of them I have named with the X and somewhere i have used forward primer and reverse primer so uh, sometimes it becomes very tricky because if even if you will do alignment through with mega or other software with alone like forward or reverse primer so as here you see we have dna man software and we can perform alignment using this so we can go to sequence and we can go to alignment So first let me remove all this and if we will choose only two files I mean which we have received from uh, vendor which they have sequenced for us. So let's suppose if we check this forward for I mean the wild type and we will check the forward for reverse for the mutant type. So you see here once we will select the DNA and we will go to the next and uh, you see at actually it shows that uh, there are you see this is the actually that sequence which shows the uh, there is SNP between the wild type and the mutant type. So if you want to more confirm so here is a good way that you can select your all sequence uh, like we can go again and we can go with a multiple alignment sequence so we can select all i mean including this sequence so we can let me select all this forward and reverse and we can open this we can go with dna and we can must click on this try both strands so it will help you to quickly identify your i mean the snps because it will automatically complement your both strands so next you can go ahead and you can finish so it will take a few seconds to perform the analysis on the background so as here you see uh, so as here this position is actually showing us one snp so as here you see somewhere it is C and uh, somewhere it is T. So it means this is actually our SNP. So in our this case, uh, so we have T and C and you see this is the wild type and this is the mutant type. So in this way you can also confirm and now if you want to construct the chromatogram so you can uh, take this sequence I mean you can simply use control copy option and you can take it to the snap gene and you can draw your chromatogram easily and you can maybe five upstream and five downstream sequence including this SNP so now let me copy this sequence and we can find it through the snap gene uh, for chromatogram figures so we can select this upstream sequence and we can use control c from the keyboard so you see it is asking to copy as text and now we can go and find this file y1f and 519 yeah we can go here so you see here y1f and 519 so this file we can open with snap gene so snap gene is already installed so if these software like dna man and snap gene are not already installed so you can go and install by yourself 
and now you can use control F option and you can find this sequence and uh, we can just use next option so you see here this is actually the place of this that chromatogram which we want to take as a snapshot and we can now use control s and p so you see here now we can directly take a screenshot from this position and like this one yeah, maybe we can for just this instance we can copy this one and now we can maybe directly paste in the one ppt file to make the chromatogram so let me take one ppt file so you see here okay yeah so this is actually our wild type and now we can go back and find the mutant type file and uh, using this so you see x1f is actually the mutant type so we can go back and find x1f file uh, okay let me find x1f you see here x1f is that file so we can open this with snap gene okay it is asking to yeah as you see it has been opened so now let me find this that sequence again in this one which we have actually copied maybe we can copy again uh, this one we can copy as text we can go back and find next so as here you see uh, we got the sequence and now we can go back again and take a new screenshot yeah it is better if we take this from middle and we can take one snapshot again maybe this position okay and we can go back and uh, paste it again here so now we can just make like 3 TT position is there you see here okay maybe this place so now we can make them equal from both sides and uh, you see here we can also make them equal from this side okay yeah a little bit zoom difference but it's okay uh, yeah we can now make them equal you see here now the c is changed into d so you can place your snp position with a uh, arrow so you see here from here you can increase the weight and maybe we can change the color of this into red so you see here this is actually the position of snp so you see here this chromatogram and this chromatogram in this way you can present your chromatogram in the research article so hopefully you got the idea if you have still any question please let me know in the comment section thank you for watching bye bye